Good morning guys, I'm Massimo Buscherini and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Meet with your students. Your first step, which I've already done, is to open up your browser. Chrome is of course your best uh, choice and log in with your Google School account. As you can see from my smiley face here in the top right corner, I've already done that. Your next step will be to actually uh, turn on Google Meet. So you go here at the grid uh, where it says Google Apps, you click on them, and what you see, you have all those nice Google applications you can use in the G Suite. The one we're looking for is this one, Meet. Now you recognize it because it has this small camcorder. So I'm going to click on that. Immediately, it should open this new page. There's a random background every time, so don't you worry if you see something different all the time. And normally, you should have these two options, start a new meeting or using a meeting code. Now, probably, if you scheduled something, this is an, an advanced features related to calendar. It, it should also tell you, look, there is a Google Meet schedule for today. But of course, that doesn't apply to us. Now, since you're the one who wants to start the conversation, the option you're going to choose is, of course, start a new meeting. And in a few seconds, what you will see. Now, um, uh, let me first say something. Uh, if you do this for the first time, if you set up Google Meet for the first time, probably it's going to ask you permission to access your microphone and your webcam and of course you want to grant that permission because otherwise the students will not be able to see you but most importantly they won't be able to hear you now what you see right now is not yet the google meet this is a preview okay this is showing you what the students will see once they join the conversation as you can see, there are two icons here, okay? The icon for the microphone and the, um, and the icon for the camera. And when you click on them, you can decide to turn on and off the microphone. Okay, so microphone off. You can still hear me because I'm not recording this with Google Meet, right, by the way. And now microphone on. This is camera on camera off at this point the students cannot see you anymore and camera is back on at this point let's start our google meet now before i do that uh you see there's some writing here i don't know if you can read it but i'll tell you very briefly the first one is a url um a web address this is your main information you need to give to the students. This is the best way for them to join the conversation. There are other two ways, either using a PIN code or a dial number from the US, but definitely that's not the option you wanna choose. Okay, so let's start the meeting. You might hear um, pinging noise, and what you see now uh, in the time that the camera sets up, okay, now you can see my face, but what it, this is really the important thing, the information you want to give to your students, okay? So these are the three ways. There's another way, which is pretty similar to what you know. Remember, in Google Classroom, you can either give a code, which is your best option to have, or you can manually add them. Now, of course, that is a quick way if you have few we're not going to explore this we're going to look call info okay and as you can see here this joining info has been added to my clipboard so i will take this away by the way the, the meaning is already on but i'm the only person in it no if you look on the top right corner you will see the number of people in this conversation which is just me for now and also uh, the chat. So let's click on this, okay? So right now, it's just listing me. And if I go on the chat, there's nothing yet, but this is very important because um, 
if you have a Google Meet with a lot of people, you don't want them to talk at the same time. Uh, what you might want you might want them to do is to write. So at any time, so they can type in, okay, questions, answers. Uh, if you're um, managing a meeting, will be actually someone say, uh, can I say something? All right. Um, we will see that in Google Meet at any time you can decide to mute someone. But that is a bit tricky because once you mute someone, you cannot unmute that person. But now let's see how we can have the students join in the conversation. So if you remember, I copied some information on the clipboard. Now my next step will be to go on Google Classroom. Okay. So here I have all of my classes, all right? And for instance, I'm going to my grade six class, okay? And what you can do, you can post an, an announcement here, okay? So what I will just do, I can, you know, right click uh, with my mouse and do paste. And you see, this is information that was on that window no or, or even easier you can copy this okay copy and then i will actually add the link here okay so i will add the link add link and i will post this thing okay now at this point uh, the students will be able to join the conversation by just clicking on this. Now, what will happen at this point that, let's go back to um, our Google Meet, you will get some pop-up uh, messages saying that this person or this person wants to join the conversation, okay? Now, of course, I cannot show you the students joining the conversation, but I'm pretty sure that from this moment on, you can navigate through your Google Meet. I hope this was useful and see you for the next podcast.